to go out every night I want to dance under the disco lights I want to be with you every night you want me to I want to be with you, we can make it right I want to go out every night I want to dance under the disco lights I want to be with you every night you want me to I want to be with you, we can make it right I want to go Good morning, Vikes. I'm Alec. And I'm Noah. Welcome to VTV. Today we are celebrating Orange Shirt Day to honor the survivors of the Canadian residential schools and remember the ones who never made it home from these schools. Here is a video that shows how important truth and reconciliation is to First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people. When I turned six in July of 1973 and Granny got me and my cousin ready to go to school and I chose a bright orange shirt. What I say is it was bright and exciting, just like how, how I felt to be going to school for the first time. When I got to the mission, my shirt was taken. No matter how much I protested or cried and said I wanted it back, I, I don't have a memory of ever wearing my shirt again. Growing up in my family, we didn't talk about residential school and really I never told anybody my orange shirt story. My own mother didn't even know that I went to residential school until um, 2007, so it's not something that we talk about, and the trauma goes deep. The first Orange Shirt Day was September 30th, 2013, so Orange Shirt Day was created to honor survivors and their families and to remember those that never made it home. We decided on September because that's when the children were taken from their homes and their families we settled on Every Child Matters. And the reason we chose that is when I described my feelings, when I told my story of being at the mission, that I felt like I did not matter. What's the saying? We can't heal from something we don't talk about. And that's the thing. Orange Shirt Day was created for conversation. As long as that's happening, it, it's, it's helpful. The Jays Care Foundation is an example of reconciliation in action, making connections with Indigenous people and Indigenous communities, being there for children. That's just the best thing that can happen. And with that, uh, when they are having trouble, they'll remember those times. From 10 a.m. to 12 a.m., the Lodge will be hosting a fire near the field sheds. We hope to honor the loss of life, culture, and language of the Indigenous peoples. On Thursday, the Barry North senior tennis players competed at the SCAA tennis tournament. All 12 athletes represented BNC extremely well, and many athletes improved their play and moved well through the ranks. Special mention to Neela Wang, who won the bronze medal in the girls' singles division and will be representing Barry North tomorrow at the GBSSA championship in Collingwood. Good luck, Neela. Are you interested in gardening? Do you want to help out the school? Then this video is for you. Hi folks, my name is Ms. Greffland. Uh, the Eco Club and I are weeding the gardens today at lunch, the courtyard. Um, we have gloves and anybody is welcome to come help out. So come join us, enjoy the sunshine. Come help out with weeding the garden today at lunch. Attention all DECA members. The date for meetings has been changed. DECA will now be meeting Thursdays in the library. New members are still welcome. 
A meeting of the Barry North Black Student Association will occur on Tuesday, October 1st in the library seminar room. Please join us to meet Ms. Keen, our new grad coach, to connect with others. As you all know, today is Orange Shirt Day, and many people wore their shirts to show, show their support. Let's take a look. So am I dreaming? Or is this just how we're living now? Refuse to wake cause I have never been this close. You always think I'm leaving before I've had the chance to stay. Darling, it'll be okay. If you look me in the eye. Great job, Vikes. Before we go, a message from Guidance. Important announcement from Guidance for grade 12 students. University and college application portals are now open. This means application season is underway. To get your research done, you should, you should be coming to room 110 for college and university reps. Last week, we had a representative from beautiful St. Lawrence College on beautiful Lake Ontario. Many amazing programs and diploma degree pathways to Queen's University and not a single student attended this presentation. Don't let this happen again. This week we have... Uh, Tuesday, October 1st, Redeemer University. Thursday, October 3rd, Ottawa University and Canador College. Don't miss out. Plus, we have permission forms ready and guidance today for the University Fair in Alliston on October 15th. Cost is $5. Get yours today. That's all from us today. I'm Alec. And I'm Noah. Have a mystical Monday, Vikes. It's also my eighth.